Here comes the sun. Ta -na -na -na. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add the sun in your photos. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Sir Germany. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. And I've done a few videos recently where I show you how you can add snow, how you can add rain, how you can add clouds, or you can switch and swap skies really easily. For this, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the little bell so you get a notification every time I do a video. So you can also see these videos. All right, in this one, I'm going to give you sun. I'm going to show you how you can add the sun in your photos. It's really simple. You can download the sun. The link is right under the view. It's completely free. Let me show you how. You're going to love this. All right, so how to add the sun in your photos. So in this episode, I'm going to give you a lot of sun for free. I have actually a huge collection, which you can see here, that I use in my library module. And um, I really advise you, if you're a Creative Cloud member, to use it in your library uh, because it's just so much easier. You can just drag and drop it. Uh, if you've been following my YouTube channel, you've seen that I've showed you how to add skies, for example, clouds, Milky Way, uh, you know, cloud with brushes, snow and things like this in your photo. Now, when it comes to sky, for example, I showed you last week how to organize your library so that you have just the skies there ready to be drag and drop. So let me show you how we do it this week. This week, we're going to do sun. So I'm going to create a new library that I'm going to call sun surge and call create. And what you can do is once you download the source file, and this is how you get the source files. All right, all you have to do to get your asset is click the link that's just below the video. And then you put in your email address. Then you put in first name, last name, and create a password. And boom, you are in. You have the preset of the brushes. You just can click on view. And then you can download the source files. Now, if you're already a member, you click on the same link. You put your email address and click sign up for free. And it's going to take you and just add it to your library. That's all you have to do. So once you have them, you know, they are in your finder. This is the, 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 the different JPEGs. You can right click on all five, click open with Photoshop. And they're all gonna be open in Photoshop. Make sure the library module is there for to show you. It's because Windows library. And again, you have to be a Creative Cloud member for this to work. And then you can take your move tool and then you can just click and drag it on, on, on this library. And then you can just go uh, file close. I'm gonna do all that for the rest. And voila, now you got different suns that you can use in your photo. If you are a Creative Cloud member, the, the sky, you can just drag and drop them in your photo. If you're not, what you can do is, is just open one up in Photoshop. I just close them all. And then you can just use the move tool to click and drag it onto your photo. And you know, it's going to say it's not matching, whatever, and you can drag it. But that's if you're not a Creative Cloud member. Uh, let me actually... Uh, erase that. But if you're a Creative Cloud member, it's much easier to just click and drag your sun in your photo. So that's how it looks like right out of the box. It looks kind of weird. Uh, I'm going to put away this library module for now. But if I put this into screen mode, because it's made on black, you see with screen mode, it becomes invisible. And I can, you know, do something like this. It's like basically a lens flare. But what I advise you to do also is do two things. So I'm going to position this like this. And then I'm going to create a mask. You see, we can see a bit the, the lens flare here. So I'm going to take a brush. Make sure you got a big brush with black as your foreground color and uh, opacity 100%. And I'm just, well, make it maybe a little bit uh, s smaller. And I'm just going to brush here around to uh, have a mask on this. And the next step you want to do is you want to do some Gaussian blur on, on this. And because it's a smart object, it's really cool because you can, it's non-destructive. Because if I zoom in, we can see too much of the rays, the way we did it. So you just go to blur, Gaussian blur. And I would like Gaussian, maybe six is a bit much, maybe like do 3.6. I mean, if you go more, you just gonna get like the glow. And if you do less, you, you keep on getting some rays. And, and it gives a very natural result. And uh, because it's a smart object, I just can double click on the Gaussian blur and change the value afterward. It's non-destructive. 
And if I don't like this, I can just throw it away. I can get back my library. I says, oh, I'm going to try a more simple one, one that has less flair. Okay. And then again, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to put this into screen mode. And uh, yes, I like this one. And then again, let's press enter and let's go to filter. I'm going to use the same Gaussian blur value, 3.7. That's good. And voila, and it's done. You know, on this one, I don't even have to mask it. Some of them you have to do a little mask, some you don't. Uh, let me show you another one. This is a, a photo I shot in uh, Rome uh, early morning. I wanted to get the Coliseum and I, I was trying to get the sun right there. So I could, but the problem is that I wanted to get this pass as a foreground element. So when I moved, the sun went away. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put it back. I'm going to take this one. Uh, so I use this one from the, the library. And then this is like really like a starburst, but this is what you get sometimes when it, when it's sort of peaking. So I'm going to put it into screen mode and use the move tool, position it where I want it. It's way too strong. So I'm going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur. And um, this one actually I've never tried on this photo. It might work. It might not work. Okay. I'm going to give it a strong value like of eight, maybe even more. I mean, you can go crazy. You just get, you know, get the rays and click. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm like, oh, I don't like this one. It's fine. It's smarter, but you can just click and drag it. It's too strong. Let's take something which is more subtle like this one. Again, I'm going to put this into screen mode. Boom, boom, boom. And position this there. And uh, press enter. I'm going to move this out of the way. Go to filter, Gaussian blur. Let's take the last one. So when you go to filter, if you click on top, you get the last, you apply the last filter that you used. And... Um, so which is a Gaussian blur. Yeah, this one is 36, that's too strong. I'm gonna go like four, eight. Cause I still wanna get a bit of the rays. No, I don't wanna get this rays there. They look unnatural. So I'm gonna boost this a bit more. Yeah, something like that's good. And if you wanna have a stronger effect, you can just double click and drag it and just uh, double the layer. Double the layer, double the power. Okay, and like this rays, I don't find them natural. So I can click a mask, make a brush and just you know brush this out of the way making sure black is your foreground color and voila so we only get the double on this so you just have to play around but i really think it does something to the photo uh you see before first ray uh, let me see first ray second ray so i'm giving you this sun so you can just put them in your library have fun don't forget to check out my other episodes where I give you snow, I give you clouds, I give you Milky Way, I give you sky that you just play around in your libraries. You know, so you can see some of it here and, uh, you know, just drag and drop in your photo and have a lot of fun. It's all about the creation, mesdames and messieurs. Don't forget to like this video if you do like it, please. If you like this video, it really helps me. Thank you so much.